Hello everyone and welcome to our DDX35 Finance and Operation Module Wise Training Series. So in the previous episode we create a vendor and party and we also discuss about how you can release the vendor for multiple legal entities. So in this new episode we discuss some important field in DDX35 Finance and Operation for vendors. So let's first move to the procurement source module. Open any vendor. So these two vendors we created in our previous episode. So let's open first PVS Limited vendor. All the fields in the general tab we have already discussed in our previous episode when we create a vendor so if you have not watched our previous episode go back and watch our previous episode then you can continue with this new episode so the second tab is address tab here you can add the address for the vendor third one is a contact information here you can add the contact information inside type you find multiple option like you can enter the phone number of the vendor email address URL and other important information and you also make this as a primary when we move to the important details is miscellaneous details here we first find the credit so in the b2b business we usually buy a product from the vendor through the credit so buying and procuring the product on credit we need to subset the credit limit for every vendor for example this pvs limited vendor we have set the credit limit to 1 million here so if we exceeding the credit balance of 1 million for this pvs limited vendor then system will notify us and also stop us for doing any further operation for this vendor find the balance inside vendor we have the transaction we have a balance button so here you can check the balance for remaining for this pvs limited vendor Vendor. First for enabling the credit limit functionality we need to account receivable so I will go to the duplicate tab inside modules go to accounts payable inside account payable let's collapse this inside setup accounts payable parameter inside credit rating you need to select the credit limit type so first credit limit is balance credit limit type to balance which means that your credit will be checked against the vendor balance so if your vendor balance reach the 1 million for our credit vendor then system can, can't perform any operation for the vendor and the second one is a balance plus packing slip or product receipt so normally vendor balance are calculated based on the invoice posting but in your system you have multiple transaction which is received now but not invoice it so th to include this transaction in the credit limit calculation you need to select the balance plus packing or product receipt time being i am using only balance then we move to the our pvs limited vendor next is a buyers group it's only used for the reporting purpose so by using this you can group the same nature of vendor to one vendor group and in the later part when you create a purchase order so that you can filter all the purchase order by using the buyers group option next we find the vendor hold vendor hold is a very important field in directify so in the system you can hold the vendor for any reason like vendor provides some item which is quality is not up to date or very cheap quality they have provided so you can hold this vendor till they resolve the issue to hold any vendor in the system you can go to vendor inside maintain you have on hold option in the vendor hold you find uh, multiple options so first option is invoice whereby choosing the invoice system will stop posting invoice for the particular vendor the second one is all all means that the vendor is completely blocked for all the operation including acquisitions payment and invoice and if you select the third option which is payment which means that we are not able to perform payment for the vendor but you are still able to receive the product or post the invoice except you can't post the any payment journal against the vendor likewise for the purchase requisition you will not able to create any purchase requisition for this vendor so for example i am putting this vendor on hold for invoice so you will get an one more option provide the vendor release date in the vendor release date means that what date I want to keep this vendor on hold so after this date the system will release the vendor automatically from the hold so here I set the vendor and we can also set the reason code here reason code is purely for the reporting purpose so I am selected here quality issue and here we find one more option apply hold in all legal entities which means that can release this vendor for multiple legal entity and if you want to hold this vendor for the all legal entities then you can enable this step so timing I am not hold this customer for all legal entities I am keep this customer on hold for the USMF legal entity so I will click on OK so in vendor hold you can find the invoice you can also find the reason code to quality and we find a vendor hold release date here so let's release this vendor because we want to use this vendor for our future operation so I'll keep it as a no click on OK 
so this vendor is now released now so next is a inter company setup to inter company setup you need to go to general tab and here you need to set the inter company setup in our future episode we detail discuss about the inter company setup and how you can set your vendor to use as a inter company transaction so i'll keep it as a future episode the next and last option in the miscellaneous detail is a vendor rebate group so vendor rebate rebate is a type of agreement for which we have tie up with our vendor rebate means a vendor agree to share the margin within a product they provide us some target and we achieve that target we entitled to claim a certain type of percentage discount as a form of rebate in many case vendor allow us to claim a rebate on quarterly half year and annual basis so normally vendor rebate setup is done on the vendor level so here we have to create some vendor group which vendor have the similar vendor group policy or vendor rebate policy so we group them together and create one vendor rebate group and tag them on the vendor level but the 90% of each time vendor has their unique policies so we unlikely to create a vendor rebate group so that the overview of the miscellaneous tab let's we move to the purchasing demographics here first option is a currency currency is a very important uh, setup so here we set the default currency to usd so whenever you try to create a purchase order for this vendor system will automatically inherit this usd currency from the vendor level next this tab is a segment chain or not much important part on the vendor level so we'll skip this part for now next we move to the invoice and delivery so important is a number sequence group we in our previous episode we create a number sequence and assign this number sequence to the vendor group but in this number sequence group you can also provide a dedicated number sequence for this vendor so by providing this number sequence your existing or old number sequence will be overlap on this number sequence next important is a vendor price tolerance group so use of a vendor tolerance group in our d65 finance and operation system we have a two way matching or three way matching where system which match the purchase order line product receipt and also the purchase order invoice line for three way matching happen if all the three values or lines are matched correctly then system will allow us to further process in same way it also check the payment for the purchase order product receipt and invoice if there are any slightly change in the product receipt and the invoice then system doesn't allow you to process further but in some scenarios where the prices of the product are slightly change at the time of invoicing but you want to process this order so in this scenario a vendor tolerance will help you so let's create one vendor tolerance group here then we move back and assign this vendor tolerance group to over this vendor if in your case if the vendor price tolerance group is not enable then you need to again go to accounts payable module accounts payable parameter you need to click on the invoice validation and enable the invoice matching validation after enabling this field we need to again create one setup for our invoice matching so we go to invoice matching setup price tolerance let's create a one tolerance line for our group here in the account code we select the group option and in the group we select our usmf and set the price tolerance percentage to the phi and we set item relation code to the all as per our tolerance group if we create created a purchase order for this vendor pvs limited and our payment is 100 dollars and we try to post the invoice for the 103 so this time system will take it as a 3 dollar as a tolerance and allow us to proceed with the invoicing process because in the price tolerance we set the tolerance value to the 5% so the next important is a delivery terms delivery terms is a point on which the ownership of the goods transfer from the vendor to our legal entity usmf so we are choosing the fob free on boards which slightly cheaper to us so the next one is a modes of delivery so by which modes of delivery transporting your shipment from vendor site or vendor warehouse to our company warehouse so we selected as a rail over here the next and last is a sales tax group where we specify the tax group we will explain this sales tax and create a new sales tax at the time of finance so that's it for this video thank you for watching